Hi uh, guys, very good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my tutorial once again. And uh, so uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a, v a very, you know, uh, uh, something very special in VBA, which is called the add-ins. You might have heard this n number of times, uh, but this is, you know, as special as actually uh, sitting on the first day, you know, uh, of your VBA class. Trust me, this is really very important actually. Uh, if you don't know the add-ins, how to create the add-ins, then I would say that you are not a complete VBA coder, right? So it's a very important chapter and uh, if you're learning VBA or if you aim for VBA whenever you want to learn in future, please ensure that this, uh, you should know actually what exactly it is, right? So um, I'll just give you an idea what exactly, uh, you know, add-in is all about. So when you write your VBA program in Excel and uh, you want that other person should also be able to use it. So it's a more of a universal code, you know, which anyone can use it according to the requirement. Uh, for example, you want to, uh, in this particular case, like, you know, what we are actually going to do is, uh, we are going to uh, prepare a code uh, with the help of which uh, one can actually hide the sheets and one can unhide the sheets in just one step, right? For example, I have the six sheets here uh, and uh, if I press some button then my, you know, all the sheets uh, except for the sheet where I am actually, uh, in this case it is she uh, sheet one, uh, everything, every sheet uh, should, you know, go on a hidden mode. And if I uh, click on some another button which is, which refers to some unhidden quality, unhidden code, then uh, those sheets, uh, you know, should come back. And now this is something very generic thing, right? Uh, it really doesn't matter uh, what Excel workbook you have. I have a workbook which has a name A. You might have a workbook which has a name B or somebody would have else, you know, uh, have a workbook which has a name C. Uh, but you want that this code should be, you should be able to work on that code. You should be able to hide your sheets and unhide your sheets. Now, since I have prepared this code, I'm going to prepare this code on my machine. So how to ex exchange this code, uh, you know, between us so that you should also be able to use this code. Now, there's a one way that you can simply copy the VBA code and, you know, can send it uh, through email or maybe you can just, you know, uh, can ask somebody over the phone that, you know, write this entire uh, sentence. So I think um, telling over the phone is not a good idea because your code may be lengthy, but yes, you can send it out uh, through, you know, uh, your Microsoft Outlook email and you can ask that person that, you know, you're supposed to copy this in the background and this is how it works. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, that's again uh, a way, you know, but I don't, I don't encourage you to do that because that's not the way, uh, the good way of doing it, right? When you have the add-ins facility, then you should go for the add-in, right? So add-in actually does what? Uh, add-in also comes special because of the fact that you actually, when you send uh, this add-in uh, to somebody, it is more of a like, you know, a kind of a, uh, I would say, looks like a, some executable file, you know, like kind of a uh, tool, you know, and uh, he has to install that tool uh, on his machine or her machine. And then ultimately, you know, those things will be created, right? So we're just going to start this and trust me, you will definitely love this video. And uh, so um, let me just uh, write, in, uh, write this down, the requirement, what we actually want to do. Uh, we want to uh, create that on uh, clicking some button, right? My sheets, uh, whatever the sheets I have. should hide and uh, on clicking another button I should get them back right so sheets should be visible that's the task which we are actually going to do now you can do it a number of ways I don't know I mean how you want to prepare it but uh, I think that uh, you, uh, getting it uh, from the user form is really going to be very nice thing. So I have already prepared the code because this is a very lengthy code, not a lengthy code, but actually you really got to do a lot of, you know, hard work on that. Uh, now that again depends, I mean, uh, how practice, you know, you, because VB actually requires a lot of practice. So I almost um, uh, took 15 minutes to develop this code. And uh, then I thought, you know, w rather than writing this code step by step, maybe I can share it with you, you know, in just a a quick way and uh, you, ca you can actually get the idea what exactly, you know, uh, this add-in is. So uh, that's my, uh, you know, this tab, as you are familiar with this tab, this is called the workbook, right? And the, this workbook name is account family, right? So name could be anything. I really don't care about that. So now what you're going to do is, are we going to create a user form? Now you know that user form has all the option buttons, option boxes, right? So I'm going to create two option boxes and just let me just, oh, uh, you know, uh, form a kind of a 
base a platform so that we can go ahead so we'll have a two option boxes and on one box uh, it would be written that sheet hide and uh, on the other it is going to be sheet unhide right so that code first first of all we are going to make and the second thing uh, which we're going to do is uh, we're going to change this uh, workbook xlsm because it has an extension called xlsm which stands for the that it is a macro we're going to change this uh, change this to xls uh, you know, uh, we're gonna change this extension to add-in. I'll just show you how we can change it. Excel, XLA, right? XLAM, XLA for the 2003 and XLAM, I guess for it's uh, for the 2007 onward versions. But we'll see to that. Now, once you uh, uh, by changing this XLSM to XLA uh, extension, we will be able to convert this entire workbook into an add-in. And then what what will happen is we'll send this add-in to different people, and then they install this add-in, and I'll tell you how they can install the add-in. And on Installing the add-in, what we want is because you know whatever you prepare that code, it has to be accessed, you know, by some other user because he is on his machine. So you have to create some button over here, right? So that buttons will create, so that he can after installing the add-in, that button uh, should appear here and he can press that add-in and he can you know uh, get his work done, right? All right, so let's start with this. Um, let me go quickly to the visual basic environment. So. Uh, what I have done is I have inserted a user form. You all know that how to insert the user form. In case if you're not, then just uh, watch this video. You'll get a good amount of idea how actually uh, this works. So I have just clicked on the user form and it has given me this form and I have prepared this form, right? So these are the option boxes. As you can see, uh, I have written here hide sheet and unhide sheet and I have created a one button called the submit button, which is uh, my going to be the command button. So on pressing the submit, what actually I want. So on pressing, th this is very important to know. Let's see what code I have written here. So guys, what will happen is uh, the moment somebody is gonna, uh, you know, run this, uh, click this on this button, which I, I will be showing in a while. Uh, I have used uh, some logics here with the help of the key, you know, select case. You can even use the if and then, but I have used it select case because um, just, I mean, there's no specific reason for that, but uh, I have just used it. Uh, sorry, uh, I just received a call. Uh, so uh, that's how that's what we actually are going to do is uh, so let me just show my screen again with you and uh, so now what will happen is that we I have defined actually here the these option buttons right so option buttons means that if I click in this option button and if I go to the property you can check that I have named it as OPT hide and this option button is named as OPT unhide so that they are the actually the names right so what exactly this code is going to do is uh, let me just come back on the screen. So this uh, OPT hide, which I was just telling you, when this is going to be true, it means that when the user is going to select this button, uh, then what will happen is this code will run, and this will say that uh, all the sheets are supposed to be, you know, hidden uh, because uh, this is going to run from i equals to sheets count. So whatever the sheets I have, it will uh, this code will run according to uh, you know uh, that number. So I have six uh, sheets in this workbook, as you can see. So it's this code is gonna work for the six times and uh, very first time when this i equals to one, when it will be passed on this value, then it will check that whether the active sheet now active sheet is sheet one, right? It is going to be my sheet one. So it is going to check whether that sheet is actually uh, uh, has that name or not? If it, if if it has that name, then it is uh, uh, you know uh, going to skip that. Otherwise, it is going to hide that. So that's what it it actually does. So because you know in Excel, if you have ten sheets, then you really can't hide all the sheets. You have to have one sheet open and nine sheets only. Then you know can be uh, actually hidden. Suppose if I select all the sheets and if I uh, try to hide them, you know, like this then Excel will throw me the error. A workbook must contain at least one visible worksheet, right? So that's why uh, we have prepared that code that whatever the sheet I'm going to select, that is that is going to be my, you know, the active sheet. And on that active sheet, the name, like in this case, is sheet one. So that sheet one name should not be, uh, it, it should be visible all the time. That's what this code is actually, uh, you know, going to do. Sheet I visible dot Excel hidden, right? And uh, Similarly, if somebody is going to select this unhide button, then this code will, uh, what it will do is it will unhide all the sheets. I can show you, uh, uh, let me just uh, pause this, uh, control pause and let me just click this. Now this is that's a kind of a user form which I have here and the moment I'm gonna cl uh, click on this hide sheet and press submit, see what will happen is that uh, now I'll just, 
Now this option op opt hide which I have named the, this button I have selected this button you know to hide the file so this is going to be true so ultimately this code will run now once this code will run this i equals to 1 will be passed uh, you know it is going to pass on to this value and uh, you can check uh, here and uh, let me just add the watch here now active sheet dot name will give you what active sheet what is your active sheet active sheet the selected one sheet one right so if I put the watch here and I'll just uh, show you you can you can see that the result is a sheet one and what is the sheet this because we are doing the comparison between these sheet i and sheet names you will add this here and you can check so both the names are same sheet one sheet one right because sheet i means one so sheet one is your sheet one that's a name right it could be abc whatever and active sheet again where you exactly are when you are running this macro you know when you when you're clicking this macro where you are uh, whether you are on the sheet 3 or 4 you know so that's how this code is going to work so now it has gone to the else it has not hide this and I'm gonna press F8 now next I means the next I the value would be for the I equals to 2 as you can see here now the sheet 2 uh, sheet I name will be sheet 2 which is this sheet 2 but active sheet will remain as it is because I have selected this sheet I'm on this sheet so it will always remain sheet 1 so what well, you can now you know can make it out that uh, except for the sheet 1 all the sheets are going to be hidden you can see that just check here keep keep your eye on uh, over here right it is actually hiding the sheet right one by one one by one and then end select and then this case is not going to be true because this is unhide button I have not selected that I did not select that so it is going to on the end select right so that's how you write case select and um, select case and end uh, select you can even do it with the if and that's fine so just you know your choice of doing it so again if I'm gonna run this uh, code let me just reset this and let's say I'm gonna run this code and now this time I select this unhide button and I'll click on the submit now see what will happen the moment it comes here it will uh, just quickly you know uh, jump out from this line because now this hide button is not selected so it will go to the end select and this time now it will go down and this time this is actually true so it will execute your you know this code now this for i equals to one two sheet count means whatever the sheet counts you have it is actually going to unhide all the sheets you can check here right so that's how this code is generated right so now what do you what actually we want is um, this is the code now uh, we want to distribute it you know and we want to distribute it so that we everybody can use this code you know so what we are going to do is we're going to form an add-in for this right and now let's see how we can form the add-in but before that you need to do one thing uh, you need to create some particular codes the buttons right and those buttons uh, you'll have to create whenever the add-in gets installed what exactly you want to do so come to the your this workbook and write in this code it's quite simple code actually what it does is that um, the moment add-in is going to be installed it is going to check you are in this command bar you know in this worksheet menu bar on the top of this right that if there is if there is any button by the name of the show form that's my button you can even name it whatever you want you want to even you can even name it by your name uh, maybe AJ maybe Ajay maybe Alan whatever you name you have right maybe anything I mean to say sensible which makes a user uh, thinks that you know what exactly this uh, you know meant for so uh, on finding this uh, if if this button is not there then I have already uh, mentioned here that on error resume next so obviously this error uh, it will not stop there it will go to the next line and on next line actually that's the important line see application dot command bar worksheet menu bar dot control add so what actually it, it is doing is it is adding the code here right it's gonna add the code here and if I run this right now you see that this is add-in installed here the button wasn't there right the add-in is installed and now this the caption show dot form will be there I'll just show you let's come to the add-in and you can check that show form is here and now if I click on this I will get this my macro right now how you're getting this macro because of the fact that you have written here uh, that on installing this add-in what should on action what actually should happen so on action this uh, sub should be run right so this sub actually I have written here in module show my form show my form uh, that's my sub name and this sub is when it is going to run this sh user form one dot show it is going to appear that's the way you know you actually uh, get your this user form popped up right so now um, I can again show you this because I know that's very interesting and you might have not you might have skipped this uh, code so let me just do one thing for you let me just again 
go to this add in and from here let me uncheck this okay cannot find this delete from the list yes I want to delete is fine right and uh, let's just check so there's no add-in available here now right so let me just save this file and close this and let me open this file again okay so now you can see that we don't have any add-in option here it's just a developer tab but the moment I'm gonna run this code this workbook add-in install right so to press this now watch this line the moment it will exit it will be executed I'll get this add-in here right and in this worksheet menu bar which is this uh, menu bar you know this control will be added so that's how this code is all about and now I can click on the add-in I can show you it is empty right now and it is a menu co command and uh, because it's a menu command because I have written here you know worksheet menu bar so that's why it is it is going to be formed here now if I say caption show form and the style MSO button you can see that that's a kind of a button I have got here and this is a show form is available here and on action now what will happen is uh, show my form should work so the moment I say show my form it will actually go to this module module 1 where I have written this show my form and this show my form will do what it will actually display this right so that's the plan guys uh, we are going to do we are going to initiate here so now let me just quickly and yes one thing more I just forgot to tell you very important whenever you, this workbook gets closed right so you need to ensure that these buttons should be deleted every time because then what will happen if you're not gonna delete them every time whenever you uh, open this workbook workbook and whenever this add-in gets installed you know your this show form it keeps on adding here and it keeps on adding means if you if you uh, if you install add-in 50 times then you'll get the option show form 15 times which you really don't want so I've written here on this event that when this workbook is going to close before closing that this control show underscore dot form should be deleted so that's the one line of code which you can write here right so that every time it should be deleted I can show you how uh, I can just put this pause and now let me close this workbook right the moment I clicked here close this trigger is you know this 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 is automatically this got triggered now see what will happen on this application on error resume next means that in case if there is any error though I don't think so error would be there but any which ways if there is an error then it should actually ignore it should go to the next uh, statement and uh, now this time when you press this option you see that that add in uh, is actually gone right so that's what the plan is all about right so now let me just close this file and let me just open this file again now what we going uh, what we are supposed to do is uh, press F12 or save as whatever suits you and uh, we'll have to prepare the add-in now this comes on a second part we have designed the code we have done everything now we'll have to distribute it so we'll, what we'll do is instead of XLSM you'll choose the option called the add-in that's the extension so just check you have the Excel add-in you have the Excel 97 add-in XLS uh, dot XLA this is for the 2003 and the previous versions but uh, we'll choose this XLA uh, M as I was telling you in the beginning of this and you can name it something which actually can correlate count family is not a um, um, actually I was I just finished up with some training uh, so I was explaining the count family to my students so <laughs> that's why it was written on that workbook but otherwise you can name it whatever you want so I'll say that um, sheet um, sheet toolbar maybe you know or maybe um, um, sheet dealing you know that's something you can write now by default it, it is taking you to this process you know to this path I'm using the Windows 7 so you might be using Windows XP or might, might be some another window window 8 that depends where your this path is so this is where actually add-ins are by default get installed under C drive and, and the username and the roaming and Microsoft add-in right this, so this path may change according to your window uh, but anyways I'm not interested in keeping my add-in over here so what I'll do is I'll go to my desktop and I'll try to save this over there so I'll go to the desktop and on desktop I'll saved and what I'm supposed to do is you can check here right 
over here can you see this now this is a kind of an icon if you will open this it will not show you anything why because it is actually an add-in but if you go to the add-in the visual basic you can check here that your all the codes and the modules are here you know all that stuff so that's quite you know with you know without excel it is it is so 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 i mean beautiful right uh, so now this uh, how you can use this now you can directly email this to you know in your office to your colleagues or to wherever you want to send it right so these even are add-ins you know they are um, they get uh, even you know use uh, sell them in the market right so of course not this kind of add-in this is very small and it is just to explain you what exactly add-in is all about uh, but otherwise you can make a very huge huge program and you can you know uh, s even uh, sell them in the market so now what exactly is the way to deal with this now let me uh, first open my any of the sheet uh, let's say uh, let's open this pivot right so now this sheet has all the sheets here right now what we're gonna do is um, I want that for this I want you know that add-in I want to go to this option and go to the add-in because you want to install that add-in the person who you know if I s uh, if I'm sending th this add-in to you then you have to save that add-in you know um, maybe um, uh, at your desktop maybe uh, under your documents folder maybe in your d drive wherever I mean you want to so I have installed it on my desktop right so right now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go to this option go and from here I'll browse and when I browse then what I'm supposed to do is uh, I'll go to the desktop because my add-in is stored there so I'll say this add-in and I'll open this and you can check here that that's the name of the my add-in which is already checked right it is checked marked so the moment I do that I have this add-in now the add-in the moment add-in get installed you can see that your this show form will appear now click on the this you want to hide the sheets just submit wow amazing all the sheets are hidden now you want to unhide them just click here and submit here right and every sheet will be back isn't it great so what if you are on the sheet uh, just close this uh, let's say this is the sheet which you don't want to hide but rest of the sheet you want to hide no problem just select that sheet 4 and click here and submit now sheet 4 is going to be visible that's what I was telling you you know that I, we are doing this comparison if my active sheet dot name is um, if it is not equal to the sheet where I am which is my f you know the index number uh, when we were actually looping it so that's how this is that magic is happening through that code watch my video again and you can will come to know what I exactly I mean because now you have seen the entire video you can watch it again right now if I want to unhide it I'll say submit right so close this so now if you have if you would have sent this file this add into 50 people in your company 50 of them can use this on your on from their machine they really don't have to copy any code so that's how this is you know these add-ins are so powerful and the next time if you do not want this add-in though it can you know it it keeps the um, you can keep there I mean you know it's not gonna do any harm to you right but still if you're not interested then you can just deactivate this uncheck this option and press ok and this will be gone right so that's that's what all about the add-ins and uh, that's my email ID let me know how how did you like uh, I mean how did you find this video I hope you like the video and uh, of course let me know in case if you are looking for some excellent VBA training and uh, very soon I will be as I communicated in my many videos that I will be uh, coming up with the MS access videos as well and uh, important thing is guys many of you have asked me so I'm just repeating this uh, again in my this video that uh, uh, you were not able to find my videos you know as a collection so I have prepared some playlist so whenever you watch my video uh, watch it on the YouTube and when you will be on the YouTube you need to click on my name Ajay and the moment you're gonna click on the Ajay you'll get the playlist option right so, so that's playlist option will tell you actually uh, I have clubbed the, all the videos there for the Excel for the ex, uh, VBA and for the Excel and VBA together for the charts for the pivots you know separately so that you can actually watch them as per your choice right so thank you so much have a very very good evening bye bye thanks